Do we have Matthew 25 for you, anyone? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Are there any other announcements? That I, if not, let's uh, go to our devotional thought in the, in this in our bulletin. And we'll read that. It's transformed by grace. John did, not, John did not teach that salvation was to be earned by obedience, but that obedience was the fruit of faith and love. Do you know that he was manifested to take away our sins? He said, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither known him. If we abide in Christ, if the love of God dwells in the heart, our feelings, our thoughts, our actions will be in harmony with the will of God. The sanctified heart is in harmony with the precept of God's law. There are many who, through striving to obey God's commandments, have little peace or joy. This lack in their experience is a result of a failure to exercise faith. They walk, as it were, in a salt land, a parched wilderness. They claim little when they might claim much, for there is no limit to the promises of God. Such ones do not correctly represent the sanctification that comes through obedience to the truth. The Lord would have all his sons and daughters happy, peaceful, and obedient. Through the exercise of faith, the believer comes into possession of these blessings. Through faith, every deficiency of character may be supplied, every defilement cleansed, every fault corrected, every excellence developed. Prayer is heaven's ordained means of success in the conflict with sin and the development of Christian character. The divine influence that come in answer to the prayer of faith will accomplish in the soul of the suppliant all for which he pleads for the pardon of sin, for the Holy Spirit, for a Christ-like temper, for wisdom and strength to do his work, for any gift he has promised we may ask, and the promise is, ye shall receive. Taken from the Acts of the Apostles. Is there custom here to stand and repeat the fourth commandment. You will stand with me to repeat the fourth commandment. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, or thy son, or thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and the earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed. 